Okay, here we are with my image of the sailboat on Long Lake again. And in this series here, I want to show you how to convert a black and white, or, or color image into a black and white, and all the different variations and different things that you can do with it when you've done that. Now, um, the people that I have studied with in the past always say to shoot everything in color and then convert it from there. It gives you more control. So that's what I've always done, and I've always been able to get all kinds of different variations from the photographs that I take and I'm going to show you that right now. So like I discussed in one of the other videos, the way that I work with Photoshop is I go up here to image, I go to adjust, and I go to this black and white section over here. Okay, and right off the bat it does a really nice black and white for us. But what I'm going to show you here without going through all these little sliders over here is how to use your presets now the presets are right here alright so the first one is default that's just this straight photograph um, converted let's see what else they have now these are supposed to emulate what happens when you to put a filter on your camera so instead of having to do that out on the field you can do it here for a lot of the purists they prefer to do it on the camera um, I do not I'm going to show you how to do it here in Photoshop alright so we're going to click on the blue filter alright and that will be what we'd get with a blue filter and then you can also go in here with any of these things I'm going to show you and make more adjustments in areas like this here we'll, we'll change it some more for you but we're just going to leave it like that let's go back here back up let's look at um, when we make it darker okay nice crisp black and white Let's try the green filter. Again, you can see it changing a little bit there for you. We're going to do high contrast blue. All right, makes it very bright, and you can see some of the noise that it's picking up into the image. All right, we're going to go to high contrast red. All right, and that goes the other way. It brings it all quite a bit darker. Let's see now. We're going to go for infrared. Okay, um, almost looks just like when you did the high contrast red filter. All right, we're going to go lighter. All right, that's your light effect. Maximum black, okay, a little bit more contrast, a little deeper there. Maximum white, all right. Neutral density, our red filter, and our yellow filter, all right. And of course, we can always go down here to custom, all right. And then we can just, you know, move things around here, and that'll change things for us also. All right, but let's let's go back to default, and let me just show you that you can also do different things in tinting. All right, so if you click on right here, all right, you know, right off the bat, get kind of a sepia-looking tone, but if you wanted a blue tone or anything else like that, then you're just going to slide across here to, to see the particular type of tone that you may want. Blue tones, green tones, red tones, purple tone. Okay, whatever it is you think you want. Let's bring it back to kind of like the sepia, and then you can just make it a little bit more intense as you go into the saturation dial here. All right, so you can get all kinds of different effects with your uh, black and whites from your color images. Okay, you can also tint them, and that's all from the black and white adjustment layer in in here. We showed you that how to get to that in the beginning. So that's um, how to get a lot of different effects on another one, another um, video that we're going to do on the road. I'm going to show you how to do some even more different things with Nick filters and some of the other filter packs that you can sell, that, that you can buy as um, plugins to Photoshop. Alright, that's it for this video.